Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the compounds of antacids and this is this topic is continuation of a previous topic that is antacids. You can check it out on my channel. So let us now discuss about compounds of antacids. compounds of antacids the definition of antacids and their ideal properties are discussed in the previous video you can check it out so first compound is sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate the molecular formula of sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3 then molecular weight of this is 84 here there are some of some of the synonyms of sodium bicarbonate there are it is also known as baking soda as we all know we use it in the kitchen purpose and it is also known as sodium hydrogen bicarbonate so now we let us know about the preparation of sodium bicarbonate how the sodium bicarbonate is prepared the first proper the first preparation is ammonia soda or this ammonia soda process preparation process also said to be solve process now let us see some reactions how the sodium bicarbonate is prepared that is in h3 means ammonia plus co2 carbon carbon dioxide plus h2o and this gives rise to in h4 co3 here in h4 co3 is a product of this reactants in h4 co3 means ammonium carbonate one hydrogen molecule is comes from attached to this uh, ammonia and forms ammonium carbonate the following step is nh4co3 means ammonium carbonate in the presence of uh, nacl that is sodium chloride gives rise to nh4cl plus in h co3 <clears throat> here by the reaction of these two compounds nh4cl is formed nh4cl means ammonium chloride and this is sodium carbonate next the following step is 2 nh co3 by heating gives rise to Na2CO3 sodium carbonate and plus H2O plus CO2 and the following step is Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O that gives rise to 2NaHCO3 and this is the product final product that is sodium bicarbonate the very next uh, preparation process is 
from sodium hydroxide sodium bicarbonate can be prepared from uh, sodium hydroxide that is NaOH Let us see some reactions how to prepare this 2 NaOH plus CO2 that gives rise to Na2CO3 plus H2O. The following step is Na2CO3 plus H2O plus CO2 that will give rise to 2 NaH CO3 this is the way the sodium bicarbonate is prepared from sodium hydroxide let us write how it is prepared with words NaOH means sodium hydroxide is prepared NaOH is prepared by bubbling process by passing carbon dioxide to form sodium carbonate and the sodium carbonate is then passed through CO2 that is carbon dioxide by dissolving in H2O to form sodium bicarbonate the final product we need is sodium bicarbonate and this is formed in this way that is NaOH is prepared by bubbling process by passing CO2 to form sodium carbonate and the sodium carbonate is passed through CO2 by dissolving in H2O to form sodium bicarbonate and final carbo final product is formed next we see the properties of sodium bicarbonate properties it is white crystalline powder It is white crystalline powder or opaque here opaque means transparent monocyclic crystals it is white crystalline powder or opaque monocyclic crystals It is soluble in water but uh, insoluble in alcohol. It is soluble in water but insoluble in alcohol. Let us see some of the chemical properties of sodium bicarbonate.
when it is heated to 100 degrees celsius it forms is carbonates it forms carbonates some of the carbonates are na2co3 h2o nahco3 and 2h2o let us know about the test for purity of sodium bicarbonate test for purity chlorides sulfates arsenic heavy metals alkalinity and ammonium compounds sodium bicarbonate is passed through these metals and uh, test for purity is determined let us see the assay of sodium bicarbonate assay of sodium bicarbonate acidimetry and alkalimetry method of titration in the sodium bicarbonate assay we use uh, acidimetry and alkalimetry of method of titration okay and alkalimetry method of titration let us write the reaction NaCO3 that is sodium bicarbonate plus HCl that gives rise to sodium chloride plus water molecules and carbon dioxide molecules now we see the pro process of assay that is 1.5 grams of sodium bicarbonate is taken 1.5 grams of sodium bicarbonate is taken and this this is followed by dissolved dissolved in 50 ml of carbon dioxide free water and the sodium bicarbonate is dissolved in 50 ml of carbon dioxide free water means the water which which is absent of carbon dioxide then titrate with 0 0.5 moles of HCl with addition of 0 0.2 ml of methyl orange as indicator orange as indicator here the indicator we used is methyl orange and we are using 0 0.5 moles of HCl to titrate with addition of 2 0 0.2 ml of methyl orange then the end point is orange color end point is orange color when titrating the mixture when we get the orange color we have to stop the mix stop the mixing and we have to determine it as end point and this is formed now we see about uh, the uses of sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate it is mainly used
as an acidic neutralizing capacity as systemic alkalizer alkalizer it is used as an antacid and it is also used as an used in preparation of buffers and then it can be used in the treatment of burns and insect bite burns and the insects bite it is one of the constituent of oral rehydration salt that is ORS it is one of the constituent of oral rehydration salt we all know that is ORS and the follower property is storage it is stored in tightly closed container container to protect from moisture it is stored in tightly closed container to protect from moisture and dose dose of sodium bicarbonate 1 to 4 grams it is given in, it is given for 1 to 4 grams for adults and that's all about the sodium bicarbonate in the next video we know about the another compound related to antacids thank you